right, I want you to understand something. I, if you read my book, you know that I drove home blind when I had my heart attack. This is the road I drove home blind on. Well, the whole road you just saw and this. I never saw any of this road. I couldn't see anything. I was holding on to the steering wheel, but Jesus was driving. I, if, if I'm lying, I'm dying, and I'm not dying. I, I could not see, and I drove this entire way home, 31 miles from Walmart on this road. And you can see, you don't, you don't drive this road not being able to see. Anybody that wants to call me a liar, they, they can. I know what happened. Nobody was in this car with me but in Jesus. And I drove this entire road, he drove this entire road, all the way home. Now you can look and you can see. There is no way in the world you put a blindfold on and you drive on this road. Look at it. I'm doing good to drive it when I can see. I had no clue where I was. I was breathing hot needles. I, I couldn't breathe, I couldn't see. I had all I could do to just keep my hands on the wheel and let him guide my hands. And I drove this entire road home. There's, there's a drop off right there that's a good 35 feet just straight down. And There's rock ledges to run into. There's, I never even hit a guardrail. There's guardrails. There's places where there's no guardrail, where you can just end up down in that valley at the bottom. And, uh, off for a minute. I don't know if the camera's picking up all the curves and turns or not. It's just showing a road in front of me. But I think you can catch enough of the road ahead to see that it's just a snaky, windy mountain road. There's not a there's not a quarter mile of straight road on this road. So you tell me how I got home if Jesus didn't drive me because I was as blind as a bat. I caught somewhere around a second and a half of a glimpse of the white line on the side of the road several miles back and I never saw another thing this entire road. Look at this. Now this might be a quarter mile, I don't know, of straight. And then it curves sharp to the right. everything I own if they could blindfold themselves and drive down this road and end up where they're going in one piece. I wound up in my driveway <laughs> right in front of my door and there is no way in the world 
that's possible. That nowhere, no way in this world that that's possible. So anybody wants to poo-poo that, have at it. I don't care. I know what happened. And that was when I really, really, really realized Jesus is real. And he's not a religious icon. He's not a, a, a belief system or whatever. Uh, he drove me home. He couldn't do that if he wasn't real. Look at this. The road just disappears. Turns sharp to the left. Then sharp to the right. I have no idea how fast I was going. I have no idea how long it took me to get up here. But... Uh, this is the road I drove blind. So... Anybody that wants to explain it, let's hear it. Let's hear your explanation. Because there is no explanation. At all. Not at all. This is where I live. This is my little valley right here. If I can get it, I don't know. There's a lot of trees. I'm going to slow down. Ain't anybody behind me. Anywhere behind me. So this is my valley where I live. If I can get rid of the reflections in the mirror. That's my, that's my uh, neighbor, Craig Cox who took care of the cats with Larry while I was in the hospital. This is his place right here. And that's, that's his place right down there with the red barn and stuff. And you're gonna see my house, the green roof. Right there, if you can see it, I don't know. Right through there, the little, little hat with the green roofs. That's my place. And look at this curve. Look at this curve. Tell me how I made it into my driveway. It still floors me. When I even think about it. Right into this driveway. And right down to my front door. It's my landlord's place, and this is my place. And there's Jesse on the steps. No telling where Gumby is. They've been out all day. Look at all my wood. Larry's been bringing me wood all summer. That's just lots of wood. Lots of wood. <laughs> That's far enough. All right, we're home. 